Yo, what's up, YouTube? Dante Lewis here. Um, first things first, I'm back. Uh, tutorials every week, beat making videos too. So um, just bear with me, I'm back. I know it's been a minute, so there it is. Today, tutorial, time stretching, and Logic Studio 9. Okay, first things first, um, you have to have Logic Studio 9, of course, and you have to know how to chop samples correctly. And what I mean by correctly, I mean for this to work, it has to be chopped evenly into two bar measures, four bar measures, eight bar measures, you know. So when you want to chop something that's two bars at 80 BPMs and you want to stretch it to something that's two bars and 90 BPMs, you have to know how to chop correctly because if you chop it a little bit off and you expect it to time stretch and fit and your loop locator and you have it set to two bars, it's not. That's why it has to be chopped perfectly to a two bar measure and a four bar measure. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this video is going to be a little bit choppy. So if you have any questions, just hit me up. So I have two samples here. Uh, one is a B more club break beat sample. I believe it's sing sing. Uh, don't quote me on that. And the second one is a sample by Mr. Hudson. There will be tears. And I'm gonna show you what's up with this time stretching um, feature. Uh, I'm definitely in love with it. And here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna chop is the break beat. And I'm going to chop four measures of that. So pay attention. Just, um, take a look at my mouse. Okay. Now right here in the dark gray area, here's my four bars. Okay, there you go, four bars. So what I'm gonna do next is edit, create new region. And the sample's gonna appear in my bin. And if your bin doesn't pop up, just hit B and your bin will pop up. So the next step is to drag it to my arrange. And as you can see, my loop locators are set to four bars. The sample is four bars, but it's a little bit off. And the tempo of my range window is 94 BPMs. And I'm not going to use a 94 for this, but I'm going to go ahead and um, time stretch this in 94 BPM so you can see how it works. So to time stretch it, you want to hit audio, time stretch region to locators. Convert in process. And as you can see, it's stretched out. And I'm going to mute these out. No, I'll just solo this out just for right now. And here's the original sample. And, here how it, and here's how it sounds time stretched to 94 BPMs, of course. Okay, so you, you see what I mean? I'm going to undo it because I want to do something a little bit more un, um, up-tempo. All right, anyway, I'm going to speed this up to about 125. And you can still see, if you pay close attention, that it's a little bit off. The loop locator is right here, and the end of the sample is right here. So I'm just going to time stretch it again. Audio, time stretch region of locators, convert and process, and it's going to stretch it out. Now we have a perfect four-bar loop. Here we go. Okay, next thing um, I'm going to do is get my sample from Mr. Hudson. And I'm going to do eight bars of this. So I'm going to have to stretch my loop locator out to the nine to make it eight bars from one to nine. That's eight bars. And I'm going to get eight bars of this. And I'm going to have to copy and paste the first, um, the drum break because that's only four bars. And I'll show you 
um, as I go along. I've no doubt there may be songs, but a few. Okay, I got my eight bars and I'm just gonna repeat the steps. Um, create new region. It's right here. And how you know that you have the correct sample is by the name. There will be tears right here. You look in your bin, there will be tears. The first thing you're gonna see is a blue um, stripe and that's the original sample form. Then you see this little blue stripe, that's the part you cut. So you know that's the part you want to drag into your arrange window. So just click it and drag it on it. And like I said before, I know this was uh, eight bars, so I'm gonna stretch this out to nine. And time stretch region are located again. Then I'm gonna copy and paste my first break because I was only four bars. Okay, here we go and play it all together. My bad. And like I said before, this is a really cool feature because I know I get hit up a lot. I can't get the, the tempo to fit. Uh, the, the sample 74 BPMs and I'm trying to make a beat in 93 and I can't get it to fit. Well, if you don't want to, you know, manually chop each, um, each of your, 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 um, your sample pieces on, on each quarter note, just grab the loop and, and time stretch it in here. You know, some of you guys are lazy. Some of you guys don't want to chop on each quarter note so you can get it to fit at any tempo, you know, cause you're just going to program to the, to the metronome and I'll show you guys what I mean by that in another video, but just grab your loop and stretch it out. You know, just make sure you cut it perfectly, of course, and it's gonna work. And like I said before, this video is a little bit choppy, but I hope you guys learned something. I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more. Just pay attention, but if you have any other questions, just hit me up. Uh, I'm on Twitter now, DanteLewis.com backslash, my bad, Twitter.com backslash Dante Lewis, and it's, it's gonna be in the video, so pay attention. I'm going to do this with a couple more pieces, and if you have any questions, please, please, please hit me up. I don't want you to look at this video and not get it. So I'm going to play with this a little bit more, then I'm going to get out of here. Peace.